Also tonight, a sudden blast just vaporizes a home on Detroit's west side. The damage pretty widespread. Tonight, the city says the cause of this explosion is a gas leak, but the why is still under investigation as DTE and the fire department comb through this wreckage. Mara McDonald is live at the scene on Sussex. Mara, uh, that house fortunately was vacant. It sure was, Kimberly, and they told us it was up for sale, but I want to show everybody what we got out here. First of all, you see the front loader over there. They're moving the bigger pieces of debris back onto the site, but the actual debris field from this blast, take a look. It spans about 20 feet in any direction that you go. There are pieces of house everywhere, and no matter where you walk, the pavement looks like it's got diamonds embedded in it because there's glass everywhere. The house that was exploded, their front door is in my yard. To better understand the totality of what's happening on the ground, take a look at what Sky 4 captured. Not only is the home that exploded nothing but splinters, you can see the gaping hole in the house next door. I can imagine what a terrible that was to the lady that was living in the house. Half the house is gone over there. Only one person was hurt, the woman inside the home next door, but her injuries are described as minor abrasions. Somehow, everybody came through okay. To the community, just thanking God right now that all we have is really damaged property. The home was vacant at the time, just a water heater and furnace inside. What caused the gas leak isn't clear. DTE and the fire department are going through the wreckage looking for clues. Multiple neighbors say they've smelled gas over the last few days and did call DTE and the fire department. We told them, my husband also said, you know, if they don't fix the problem, we're gonna find out in a minute where the problem is and clearly we found out where the problem is. The city is providing hotels for four families tonight whose homes have the most damage. We're going to have folks here all night and so we're not going to just leave this and in the morning we'll have folks here as well. Back here live, DTE telling us they've got their people out here as well. They're assisting law enforcement as well as the fire department, arson, you name it, to try and figure out what happened out here. In addition, the city is sending the building department out here because that house that is no more isn't the only issue out here. There are probably two other homes that have such serious damage. They need to determine whether they're habitable. Um, that's a determination that will be made in the morning. We're live on Detroit's West Side. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4. Incredible footage and incredible nobody was killed. Mara, we appreciate your report.